Hey folks, Mark from Whisker Time Fishing. So you went catfish, caught some catfish, and you're thinking, man, I want a catfish dinner, so you took some home. Well, we're gonna cook a catfish dinner tonight, but guess what? We are not doing the old standby deep fried catfish. What? Mark, ain't you from the South? Everybody eats fried catfish in the South. Yes, we do. And yes, I am still Southern, but for a change, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So y'all come on down, watch what I'm doing. It's a different kind of recipe and enjoy the video. Okay folks, so here's the beginnings of it. This is our catfish. I'm only cooking three fillets for my wife, myself and my son, one each. We're going to have some uh, baked asparagus. I'll show you the recipe on that. We're also going to have some baked sweet potatoes and some steamed vegetables. All right, we're going to move the catfish to the side right now. That cooks pretty quick, so we'll get back to that. Let's get this asparagus cooking real quick and get it in the oven. I've already got it coated with olive oil. And what we're going to do, we're going to pepper it. Get some good old fresh ground pepper on it. Don't take a whole lot, but just a little bit for flavor. Get some ground Himalayan pink salt. Yes, I don't use that old white salt. Ain't enough good stuff in that. This stuff has a lot of minerals in it that, well, frankly, our bodies need. So we're going to grind some of this up on it. These new grinders are always tough. There we go. A little bit of salt on it. Set that to the side. And a little bit of garlic powder here. Don't take a whole lot of this, just a little bit. And we're going to put some Parmesan cheese on it. That gives it a good flavor. And yeah, we want a lot. We like Parmesan cheese here in the Aurora household. It should come out pretty nice and crunchy. All right. And as you can tell here, we cook it at 425 degrees and we'll cook this for 25 minutes in the oven. It is already preheated and ready. That's 25 minutes here. We'll get the timer started. All right. And now while that's cooking, these will come over and cook. We'll get to these shortly. And I've already got the water in the... Uh, vegetables so it's ready to start steaming we're going to set all this stuff off to the side here and prep the fish all right folks we've got our fish here we're going to go ahead and start getting it prepped up we're going to start with a quick squeeze of some lemon juice across it don't take much just a little bit all right from there paper towel here We'll give it a little bit of olive oil. This is an olive oil spray, cooking spray. Just a little splash on it. A little bit on the pan as well. Hopefully it'll sink under there and not let any of this stick. All right. Now, next step, fresh chopped garlic. Big key here. We love garlic around here. So we'll put a little bit on our fish. Brings out, it helps bring out the flavor of the fish. It really does. Spread it around pretty good on there. Try not to clump it up too much. All right, I'm going to go back in the refrigerator. All right, give it a little bit of 
fresh ground pepper on it. More Timberland pink salt. This salt, you can actually put more of this salt on than you can white before it gets over salty. Alright, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of smoked paprika on there for some color. I said we are. Come on, wake up paprika. There we go. I'm telling you folks, this is some good eating. I mean good eating. Just for the heck of it, a little bit of basil. Yep, a little bit of basil, just a little bit. Just a hint. Now I know this is unusual if you think, really, on fish? Yep, a little bit of oregano. Kind of give it a little bit of Mediterranean hint. Again, doesn't take much at all, just a hint. And for me, and me only, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. You can't go wrong with Old Bay. Doesn't take much, unless you like it a lot. I, I like just a hint of it, too much of it to make it overly spicy. And my wife and my son don't like spice, so these two pieces get none. All right, next thing we're gonna do, a couple slices of lemon on the top. All right, that is ready to go in the oven as soon as the asparagus comes out. Now this will cook also at 425 degrees for roughly 15 minutes. So as soon as the asparagus comes out, we'll drop this in, restart the timer, and afterwards we'll be ready to eat. I've already got this cooking, so the I've got it on high, so it'll start boiling and we'll get our steamed vegetables ready too. So we'll be right back, folks, as soon as everything's good. All right, folks, the asparagus is done. Let's pull it out of here. Woo, wow. I'm all fogged up. There you go, nice and crispy, ready to eat asparagus. So we're gonna set that here. We're gonna shut the timer up. We're gonna reset it, timer. Let's get that fish in there. Take it out of the refrigerator. Put it in the oven. All right, start that timer. And what we'll do, we'll let it cook for about six or seven minutes and then we'll check it. And then we'll check it about five minutes at a time until we know it's done and not overcooking it. So y'all stick around and I'll be right back when we take that out of the oven. All right, folks, the fish is ready. We'll go ahead and stop the timer. Get it out of there. Look at that. Oh, yes, low. Now that, folks, is some good eating. So we're gonna go ahead and plate some of this up and give it a big old taste test. First, though, while that's setting for a second, our um, Veggies, steamed veggies are ready. I've got some melted butter for the steamed veggies with some garlic salt in it to flavor them up. Just drizzle a little bit of that on them. Add some good flavor to it. Doesn't take much, don't want too much. Too much make it too buttery. But then again, is that really a bad thing? So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and plate some of this up. Alright, it did not stick, so we'll go ahead and get a plate. Oops, sorry about that, folks. There we go. Plate that one up. We'll go ahead and plate. Which one you want, there? Uh, that one. This one? Oh, this one. one? Okay. Plate this one up for the wife. Move the asparagus over. And we're going to get some veggies on here. This, folks, is a meal fit for a king. If the king don't like it, 
be a dummy. But this, folks, is some good eating. All right, there you have it, folks. Catfish, baked sweet potato with some butter and brown sugar, vegetables, and asparagus. So let's go ahead. I've got a fork here. So go ahead, and we're going to give this thing a taste test and see what we think. Go ahead and kick this over here. Move the, uh, that plate's kind of hot. There we go. See what we think. Woo wee! Now that, folks, is good eating. Yes, fried catfish is good, but sometimes it's a little different is better. And this, delicious. Folks, y'all stick around. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this recipe a try and see if you like it. And y'all stick around for the next video, and I'll see you folks on the water. Until then, have a great day.